everyone, this is Enrage Tutorials, and today we're going to be learning how to download a mod called Single Player Commands for Minecraft, only for single player, which uses the chat feature, which originally won't be uh, usable in single player, but makes it usable, and uh, what you do with it is you can uh, type in commands with the slash, and use commands like spawn items, change the weather in the game, and several other things. Okay, so let's get started. Make sure to check out my channel for more Minecraft videos. Now, go to the single player commands link in the description. Scroll down the page until you see the downloads, which will be under the picture of item blocks and codes. Click on the preferred download link or the mirror link. If the, wait five seconds for the ads. Okay, click on the yellow skip ad. Save file. Okay. Save it to your desktop. But since I'm using Firefox, which is the best internet browser, I'll put a link in the description to it. I'll just drag it to the desktop. So since you saved it to the desktop, it should be right there. Now, second thing you're going to have to download is either 7-Zip or WinRAR. Um, they're both archiving softwares. Uh, I'm using 7-Zip for this video, so if you want to just have an easy, easier life, just uh, download 7-Zip. Or you could also download WinRAR. Either one of them is fine. I'm using 7-Zip, so just go to the link in the description. I'm going to open up single player commands. And you should see a bunch of files. Now, in your start search, search run. And open this run program and a tip is on your keyboard there should be a windows logo and if not just use it this way but if you hold down the windows logo and press R it'll open this little box type in percentage sign app data percentage percentage sign okay and it'll open up your roaming folder and there you'll find dot minecraft open it up open up your well first we want to back up all our um, saves folder so take your saves and drag it into there onto your desktop and then we want to go to your bin folder find the minecraft.jar file right click 7-zip and if it's not there that means you'll have to download 7-zip um, also if you download WinRAR instead I'm actually going to be using WinRAR so you can um, You can click on uh, Open With and uh, WinRAR Archiver, and if it's not there, click on Choose Default Program, Other Programs, Browse, and find where you installed WinRAR. Mine was right on my desktop, so I click OK, and it'll open up. It will open up the archive for Minecraft.jar. This is exactly what you need. With 7-Zip, you can just right-click 7-Zip and o open Archive. Um, but I'm using WinRAR for this tutorial. Now, find the Meta in folder. It'll be all caps, uh, meta, inf, right click, um, delete, oops, WinRAR is kind of annoying, so delete, delete, yeah. Okay, now, only the meta in folder by the way. Now you want to find your single player commands as well. Now I have both these windows open. Now you want to drag every single dot class file from the single player commands folder into the minecraft.jar. The way you do this is you just highlight the class file. You can do a lot at once and drag it over to the minecraft.jar. Make sure to drag it to the on top of one of these dot class files because if you drag it on top of one of these folders, the highest chance is that it's going to go into the folder. Okay, so I've gotten all of these. Now I just got to get this one. And this one. Now that you have all the classes in the minecraft.jar, um, you can close out of the minecraft.jar go to bin back to your bin folder which was in your roaming minecraft bin and find the world edit.jar file from your single player commands and drag it into there so it should look like this should look like this in your bin folder it should have the world edit and all that now what you can do is you can close out of the archive folder and minimize that open up minecraft let it open. Your save, uh, your saved worlds, they're not gonna be in here because of 
you back them up, so you just gotta make a new world. Let's name it test for now. Create a new world. And it's gonna generate the new world. It's gonna take a little while. It's gonna look really laggy, but it doesn't really matter because all we need to know is to see if the single player commands were downloaded. And it's gonna take a little while to load up. Alright, sorry for making you wait, but as you can see, it'll say single player commands, and whatever version it is, whatever version it is, and uh, if you press T or whatever you macroed your chat function, it'll open up the chat. As you can see, if you type in slash help, um, it'll show you every single command, and the way you activate those commands is type in T slash, T slash, and whatever, whatever the command is. You can go look on the um, single player commands website to find that, but we're not just done yet. If you want to get all your worlds back, which uh, you probably do, just close out of the Minecraft, open back up to your .minecraft folder, and it'll, it'll, it will uh, automatically create a saves folder. So that saves folder doesn't have any uh, saves in it, so you want to delete it. Now find the uh, saves folder that you dragged to your desktop early, earlier, and uh, drag it back to .minecraft. So now you can close out of this, open Minecraft back up, log in, single player, and as you can see, this is the world that I previously, previously had in here, and uh, yeah, I know, maybe this uh, world name has something to do with something. Alright guys, thanks for watching my tutorial. This has been in Ray Tutorials, and we will have more videos such as Xbox modding tutorials once I get my uh, new HDPVR USB cable. Much more Minecraft videos. Um, I had one recommendation of a portal mod. I don't really know what that is, but uh, I'll find it from Epic Polish Guy. Uh, check him out. Link will be in the, in the description as well. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.